Hey guys, welcome back to Daddy Jeep Garage. It's finally time to get back to work on the crawler hauler. I think that turned out pretty good. This So this opening, a little splittering there, but this opening is for the door. It's the last piece for the back wall and uh, we'll have this thing sealed up. All right, let's see if we can measure. I think I can measure, but. You know what, as it turns out, I can measure. That's perfect. It's almost like I knew what I'm doing. Just like every other part of this camper, everything's getting a good coating of some tight bond wood glue before we brad nail it in place. Okay, now that everything's coated with some glue, we can go ahead and put this piece back up here. Now, there you have it. We have this back wall all sealed up. Now, you can see I still kept this overhang that I had from the old design with slide out. I really like it. I think it's going to it's gonna help protect the door from some of the rain. And I really just, I think it looks nice. We're going to mount some lights outside here. We're going to mount a fold-down kitchen table outside here. Um, super happy. Well, I guess we can get back on the body work now. Get this outside cleaned up and ready to get uh, wrapped in some PMF. So in yet another change of plan, I'm gonna go ahead and install my small window here. So I've gotta rip this foam off that I've already passed and I'm, I'm super happy with the strength of this PL300. It didn't spread like I thought it might. It just kind of stayed in its grooves, but this stuff is on there. I can't even break off big chunks of this, it's glued so well. So when I have a outer skin and an inner skin glued to this, it's gonna make a super strong, super strong structure. So I'm real happy with this decision to use that adhesive. So these edges aren't quite perfect. Some of the Luan hangs over just a little bit. Uh, some areas worse than others, so as far as wrapping goes, if it's back a little bit, it's not a big deal. It'll it'll wrap over nicely, but if it's actually the Luan sticking out past the plywood on the edge, it can create a little bit of a void. So we want to go ahead and dress that edge so it's a little bit cleaner. So we have one of these following bits. I don't know if you're familiar with the following bit. It's got a little bearing that rides on the plywood and then the edge down below, so it cuts it perfectly flush. We're gonna go ahead and chase these edges all around just to get these ready for some wrapping. Oh, 
Okay, I changed my mind. I know that never happens on this build, but instead of doing clean, sharp edges uh, around the perimeter of this, I think I'm going to go ahead and use a, uh, a radius cutter with a wheel so I can have a consistent small radius. It's a little bigger cutter than I would like, but I'll just set it kind of shallow and I'll be able to get a smoother transition around these edges so the, uh, so the PMF wraps a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and swap this on here and do those edges one more time. Heard it said, work smart, not hard. So that means having the right tools. This isn't a woodworking tool by any means, but it's a sanding disc. It'll make quick work that little bit overhang where I couldn't get with a router. Glasses are a good idea again. Bondo sanding. I don't know whose idea it was to make a pretty camper. This is a whole lot of work, but we're gonna get this all knocked down some more. We're gonna do probably one more layer of Bondo in the low spots. So we're just trying to get uh, as much of the high knocked down this time. And I think we'll be able to finish up this corner with one more coat of Bondo. Filming. For those of you that haven't worked with Bondo, body filler, whatever brand, I mean, Bondo is technically a brand, not a product, but body filler, Bondo brand body filler. Get a nice big pile of it. You take your hardener and you run basically a line across it. However big your pile is, you just run one line of hardener across it. Yeah, you know what, it's a little oblong, so I'm gonna put a little piece over there. Yeah. So I'll share that with you. So we're just running one line across it, and because of that little booger, I ran another line. You put too much hardener in there, it's gonna harden too fast. So you don't wanna over harden it because you want to have the working time. Once you get your hardener in there, you just fold it into itself until it's a consistent color again. nice to have, I'm using a piece of painted Lou on here, and it's really nice to have a good, solid, smooth surface. I actually sanded it a little bit just to keep it nice and smooth, because then it's easy to scrape it all back off so you can mix it nice. 
go to the edge and scrape everything off my knife and fold it back in. It's already starting to get a little thicker, meaning it's already starting to set up. But now you can see it's a nice consistent color. It's ready to spread. Everything's pretty poor on this side, but you'll get the, the idea of it. Ooh, dusty up there. Ouch. Dust is bad. It makes it not stick. So while it's over here on the camper, we're just going to try to spread it as smoothly as possible because that just means less sanding. You know, the rougher this is, the more you have to sand it. So we're trying to get it on reasonably smooth. I know we're gonna have a lot of sanding, so it's not, not the end of the world that it's a little bit bumpy. Especially on this first coat, we're just trying to fill all of the imperfections. what took me so long but I went ahead and ordered up some sanding discs off Amazon for my DA sander these are 40 grit and they make this so much easier Taking me a half an hour and killed my shoulders the old fashioned way. So, huge improvement. And I'll be able to blast through the rest of this sanding so much faster now. So, most of this is really nice now, except for I'm going to have to do one more coat right here. Maybe find a couple of little low spots that I'm a little worried about. but. I have to fill this spot just a little bit more, and then this corner will be done. All right, that's enough. No more sanding. Um, I've got all my seams feathered out. I've got my, my front radii as good as they need to be. They're pretty smooth. I'm happy with it. Uh, I've got, again, all the seams down the sides are done. Oh, all the seams on the top, which I can't reach, are done. Jump around the back. Everything around here is also feathered out and sanded so we are ready to start putting uh, some PMF on here. 